so welcome back guys now we'll go to some uh, one of the important topic called source transformation so this source transformation uh, may also called one of the method in reduction of reduction of circuit so reduction of circuit is one of the method uh, which is used to reduce the circuit for why you, you need to reduce the circuit to simplify the circuit or to get the calculations so source transformation we will call a source transformation technique also so we use the source transformation technique to reduce the circuit according to our will or according to our uh, simplification so what are the sources you have here is uh, practical voltage source voltage having a series resistance r in so this r uh, once again i'm saying this internal resistance uh, will be very much less than the load resistance which is connected in lacrosse like rl so in triply triply we have a load means what we have maybe a motor is a load or maybe electrical fan or electrical uh, light everything is connected in uh, as a load so the load resistance will be comparatively high compared to internal resistance okay i'm not have representing load here we are least bother about loads here we are bothering about only sources so is the practical voltage source okay practical voltage source and we are having uh, another work source which is a uh, current source this current source having a parallel resistance that is r internal and this source having a value of i this is a, a practical current source okay now i am having a, this r list there will be a r load resistance the load resistance the internal resistance will be high compared to the load resistance so here uh, the load resistance let us say this load resistance is having rl so the r internal uh, will be comparatively much much less than uh, rl here r internal is uh, comparatively high with respect to load resistance which is not connected here i'll connect so what is the source transformation the transformation means we have to transform okay if you uh, say you have uh, very much uh, interesting movies called transformers transformers what is the transformers means the car transforms to a machine okay transformation so the man will transform to some other aggressive basing on the situation basing upon the to tackle the situation so the situation is here to solve the circuit so the circuit uh, if we want to transform this voltage source to a current source so how will transform that why you need to transform while transforming also the end terminals uh, character should not be changed for example if you are having a internal resistance r in and we are having a source we are connecting a load rl if you transform this source to current source whatever the load which is getting from the source should not be changed okay so if you want to connect this voltage source to that means uh, by changing the source to another source whatever the load which is getting from the source should not be changed that is the main thing that is circuit should not be changed that is equivalent of this voltage source to a current source so if you want to change the voltage source to a current source we will have a, a current source a value of v i equal to v by r so this current source having a value of i that is equal to voltage v and internal resistance by ir so here voltage i by equal to v by r that is v equal to ir you have so i equal to what v by r this current source uh, having a value of internal res uh, source voltage v with by r and uh, this current source having a parallel value resistance that is r okay this what are the resistance you have you will connect this r here and the current source will be replaced by value of v by r this is the transformation of uh, voltage to current source okay so so a b n terminals a b n terminals are common but you are so transforming this voltage source to a current source 
okay now if we want to transform this voltage source to current source to voltage source the voltage source should be having a value of v that is v equal to what i r that is i internal this is r internal and again in series with what resistance r r internal resistance this is r internal so the what of the resistance the voltage source is what or voltage source in series with r internal so r internal resistance is common and this current voltage value will be equal to i into r n this is the transformation of a practical current source to a practical voltage source okay so what about the voltage source you change the sources you change the load should not be uh, we'd get um, what you should not disappoint that load so simply whatever the load requires it should be getting okay that's thing this is the tra transformation technique so examiner ask you tell about the transformation technique if you write uh, this one point that is v equal to r r so this is the thing it's okay but if you extend that that is whatever the source you are changing the circuit should not be have an alternation other whatever the load requires they are giving means that's the thing that's the ending equation sentences you have to write this is the entire thing about sources now we'll solve one few problems quickly so i would like to ask you the questions like this so uh, so i need uh, i gave the circuit so i want a value i want to transform this uh, whole circuit to transform the circuit to single current source so i want to transform this circuit to single current source how you will transfer so straight away single is asking single current source so what are the thing is having you are having voltage source and are having voltage source transform this voltage towards a current source transform this voltage towards a current source how you will transform this voltage towards a current source current source value of i i equal to what v by r what is the value of v you are having 20 by i 5 r and in parallel we will collect one resistor that is 5 ohms so you replace this voltage source to a current source now again you have this voltage source i will confirm to current source what is the current source value i equal to v by r what is the voltage we are having 10 by 5 in parallel with a resistor value of 5 ohm okay you did this now again change this circuit how you will change this circuit see take this current sources into one place so the current source is having 10 20 by 5 is 4 ohms 4 amps let us say this 4 amps is flowing and this current source uh, flowing a current of 2 amps and this 5 ohms 5 ohms connected like this this is 5 ohms and this is 5 ohms so i am changing just parallel branches are interchanged just this this current source this 5 ohms current source 5 ohms everything are four things are in parallel we are just interchanged so by kcl we have the provision to add these two currents so what is the currents 4 plus 6 you have 10 amps 4 plus 2 sorry we are having 6 amps to flow so some of the currents entering into this node so what are the current entering into this node is 4 plus 6 2 that is 6 amps so we have we are replacing these two current sources in parallel with 6 amps 5 and 5 in parallel so 5 parallel with 5 you are having 2.5 ohm so do five ohm so the entire circuit is transformed to single current source uh, having a current uh, of 6 uh, amps is flowing and a uh, resistor having a uh, 2.5 ohm if an examiner ask you to find transform the circuit into single voltage source so what you will do just transform this to up to up to current source it is over again transform this to a voltage source having a what 6 into 2.5 v equal to ir and a series resistance 2.5 ohm okay over so this is a transformer to single current source 
and this is a conformer to single voltage source okay now we'll do another sum so i ask i'm asking you to transform a this circuit into a single voltage source okay how you do that 5 ohm and this is 5 ohm 5 amps and this is 5 5 ohm okay so already you are having a voltage here so what you will do is you transform this current source so transform it into a single voltage source so you transform this current source to a single voltage source transform this voltage source see replace this value like this 5 ohm so how will represent this so if you see carefully now arrow is in, in this position so in arrow is in clockwise direction okay now the source should be in a such a way that it should be like this so minus and plus so always the active element means um, the arrow should come from positive terminal okay so you need to observe carefully now transformation while transforming current source to a voltage source or voltage source to a current source the terminal naming is important so the arrow is like this so what is the reactive element means here uh, when a source is like this when a source is like this always the current flows from from the positive outside of the positive terminal only okay that is uh, indication of a source if you see load means positive and negative so load means uh, current should be enter to a positive terminal if current leaves from the positive terminal it is a source if current is enter to the positive terminal it is load okay so this is source source is leaving current so the source should be also voltage also should be so the current is leaving and the resistance is similarly represented like this 5 ohms so what is this value v equal to ir i is the value of 5 and r so 5 into 5 this is 25 ohms 25 volts now again so these are connected in series we will interchange these values in our fashion like uh, get all the voltages in one place that is uh, we are replacing like this 20 volts 25 volts and uh, series 5 ohms and again 5 ohms so add these two by kvl we are having a, a value of uh, 20 plus uh, 25 which is uh, 45 ohms 45 volts and 10 ohms 5 ohms 5 ohms is 10 ohms so this is the transformation of the entire circuit into a single voltage source now if the examiner asks you to transform this to a current source single current source so what you will do here is the main mistake people does is if I am asking you to stay, stay in the circuit to a single voltage source now what you will do is you are keeping this voltage source like, like this but you are transforming this, volta this current source to a voltage source now if I am asking you to transform this to a single current source so SAR asks you to, to transform the single current source we will keep this current source like this only and we will transform this voltage source if you transform this voltage source the problem solving is over so not problem solving there is no further movement so simply if you say if you transform this voltage source how will do how will proceed further how will proceed further so you can't you can't add this uh, current sources or you can't uh, multiply this current something so there is no movement again you need to transform this is voltage source and again you need to transform this voltage source that is after getting this and again you need to do all this so in spite of that what you will do is after doing all these things once you change the source to another source further simplification need to be done if further simplification is not done that's then straight away stop that procedure and move to another other procedure 
So if you transform this voltage source to a current source, there is no further calculation proper. Now what you'll do is, now transform this volt current source to a voltage source, ultimately you'll get a voltage source. After getting the voltage source, you can transform this to a current source, right? So what, 45 by 10, this is 10 ohm. This is representation of single current source, okay? So in the next class, uh, we'll go to straight away what is KCL, what is KVL, and then we'll go to, so now actual, uh, this is all the basic things you need to understand. Now in the next class, I'll uh, give you what is a complete description of what is KVL, or what is KCL, and what is uh, mesh analysis, what is the super mesh, what is a node, nodal analysis, and what is a super node also and uh, <clears throat> we'll solve what is a different kind of uh, problems thank you